Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues. Have mercy on Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, King and center of all hearts, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all treasures of wisdom and knowledge, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who invoke thee, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, filled with reproaches, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and our resurrection, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and our reconciliation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim for our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in thee, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in thee, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously give us, Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Make our hearts like to die. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of thy most beloved Son and upon the praises and satisfaction which he offers thee in the name of sinners. And to those who implore thy mercy, 
in thy great goodness. Grant forgiveness in the name of the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, who lives and reigns with thee forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The church does not exist to condemn people, but to bring about an encounter with the visceral love of God's mercy. Father Wade Menezes of the Fathers of Mercy can help you respond to God's call with Catholic Essentials, a guide to understanding key church teachings. This book is full of faithful and concise discussions to help you learn about basics of the faith and help you live and defend them in your everyday life. Quickly find answers you need to questions on faith, reason, sacred liturgy, God's mercy, and much more. Father Wade gets to the heart of many church teachings that conflict with today's culture, offering clear answers, explanations, and solutions. Catholic Essentials, a guide to understanding key church teachings by Father Wade Menezes, the latest release from EWTN Publishing, now available at EWTNRC.com or call 1-800-854-6316. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. On Pentecost Sunday, our Holy Father invites you to a liturgical celebration of the descent of the Holy Spirit, heralding the birth of the Church. The Solemn Mass of Pentecost from Rome with Pope Francis. Sunday at 4 a.m. Eastern and at 3 p.m. Eastern on EWTN. Family, a prayer that we pray together is a powerful prayer. So please pray together with me our EWTN family prayer. Today we pray for those with epilepsy. Most Holy Trinity, we worship and trust in you who always hear the cry of the poor. We beg you to bring physical healing to those who suffer with epilepsy for this illness causes them much suffering and anguish. We know that you turn all things to good. Help them, even in their affliction, to have trust in you. Bring them medical solutions to their problems, and through their pain, a deep union with you, who lives and reigns, God, forever and ever. Amen.
behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. Do this in memory of me. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by Saints Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you as angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. Dominus Fabiscum. Lexio Sancti Evangelii Secundum Johannem. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, 
He said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he said to him a third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. Verbum Domini. In this resurrection appearance, Peter is obviously very aware of his weakness. Jesus asked him three times, do you love me? Reminds Peter of his triple denial of our Lord uh, during the Passion. <clears throat> and he's distressed. He's distressed at that. But nonetheless, Jesus calls him and he's, he knows Peter, his weakness, and I'm sure he's very cognizant now that he needs to depend on the Lord, needs to trust in him, to rely on his grace. And the command is simply to follow me, follow me. Not these bold professions of faith and I'm gonna do this for you, I'm gonna do great things for you, Lord. You know, if all these other guys deny you, I will never deny you. It's just follow me. Leave, you know, we could be tempted sometimes to maybe think we need to do X, Y, or Z, but at the heart of discipleship is following the Lord, follow me. And in these resurrection appearances, the emphasis very much on following me and my passion and my resurrection to new life. And the martyrs we celebrate today witness to this, St. Charles Luanga and uh, 21 other companions over uh, in the late or 1860 to 1886 is the time period for this in Uganda and Africa and even during this time there's believed to be like a hundred martyrs Catholic and Protestant alike during this time but this particular group was canonized in Paul VI in 1964 Charles Luanga had heard these missionaries to Uganda and converted became interested and was baptized and he himself became a catechist, and he also was, he entered the royal court to be, entered into the royal service in the court at the time under a, a King Mwanga in 1884. And Charles Lwanga was obviously a very good uh, administrator. He was put in charge of building projects and, and also in charge of the royal pages. And the problem was that the king made these carnal advances towards these young pages. And Charles Luanga would have to try and protect them. And he would do that by you know, assigning them different places and moving them around and, 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 and avoiding that from the king. And he would also teach them the faith. So they were catechumens, you know, preparing for baptism. And even though it was dangerous at the time, you know, Charles Luanga still undertook this, this mission that he had. And the king 
got more and more frustrated with Luanga interfering what he wanted to do, and eventually would have them martyred after a, he would march a group of them like 30 miles, some of them died on the way to a place of uh, their martyrdom, where they, for him, they constructed a, a, a pyre and burned him alive slowly on this, this wood, you know, in this kind of a funeral pile, pyre, I guess. And he died saying, uh, Katanda, Katanda, meaning in his language, my God, saying it slowly, my God. He was only like 26 years old, but obviously a man of great strength and grace to endure such things. And many of them suffered just terrible tortures and things. And today at that shrine, there's a massive church and I've heard there's over 500,000 will gather on the feast day to celebrate this. And we say it in the opening prayer that the blood of martyrs is the seed of Christians. Christians that Tertullian said this, and we see that in the lives of the martyrdom, of these martyrs, uh, this great fruitfulness, following the Lord, dying, and having this, this new life come about. Um, because the church, you know, certainly in Uganda today is mostly Christian, despite great odds against it, despite great persecution. So we're all called to follow the Lord, to go wherever he goes. In Mark's gospel, in chapter 8, Jesus, in giving his passion predictions, he gives also what it means, he tells them what, what it means to be a disciple. And he says, Who wishes, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. It always makes me think of that, that phrase, uh, Domine Quo Vadis, Lord, where are you going? And this originally is taken from an apocryph apocryphal acts of Peter. It wasn't accepted in the canon, but Peter was leaving Rome, fleeing the persecution of Nero, and he sees our Lord going back to Rome. And he says, Quo vadis, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus tells him he was going to Rome to be crucified. Novels and films have been made of this powerful scene, but it's a good question to ring in our own minds. Lord, where are you going? As I try to avoid suffering and seek my comfort and what I want, my likes, dislikes, you know, we can remember this question, where are you going, Lord? I'm a disciple, I'm a follower of Jesus. Literally, in Mark's Gospel, when he says, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me, the word, the Greek word for follow me is used it's translated to come after me, but literally it says, whoever wishes to follow me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. And it emphasizes that taking up the cross and, and following him and denying ourselves taking up that cross is the definition, the deepest sense of following the Lord. And it's commanded today in the gospel passage, this is a resurrection appearance, and I mentioned, it stresses what the Lord has just done. You know, that he has taken up his cross. He's died for us, he suffered, and rises again. And that's, that's the following that we need to, mo to do, most importantly. Yes, we all die on a natural level, we share in that sense. But even deeper, there's dying to self, denying ourself. Cyril of Alexandria, we just are going through some of his teachings in the office. And he says that after Christ had completed his mission on earth, it still remained necessary for us to become sharers in the divine nature of the word. We had to give up our own life and to be so transformed that we would begin to live an entirely new kind of life that would be pleasing to God. This was something we could do only by sharing in the Holy Spirit. 
that we have to, to, in order to share, we have to give up this earthly life and be transformed uh, to begin to live this new kind of life that Jesus offers us. You can imagine these Ugandan martyrs and becoming baptized as an adult. You know, these Cyril of Alexandria, these were great catechists. These were teachings given to those being baptized. And they're living in a very concrete way, suffering for Christ. But we are called to something more than the earthly life. We are called to more than something than our own self-will, our own likes, dislikes, preferences. Jesus, through that suffering and death, ascension into heaven, resurrection, he sends us the Holy Spirit that's going to give us this new life, that's going to give us this something more that we want. We long for the, this greater spiritual good in our life, that this world we've all experienced is not enough. Even if we have the good things of this world, we need something more. We need a new life. And as Christians, we're called to die to ourselves, to follow our Lord, and whatever path he has for us in life, and that's going to involve the Paschal Mystery. There's always a cross. There's no holiness without the cross. There's no new life without this cross. You know, on the other side of the, the passion is this new life, that we have to overcome our self-reliance and entrust ourselves to God, to his mystery, to this unknown. And that's... a. Uh, that can be hard for us, to let go of that control the way we want it, to give up on ourselves, to let go, you know, all these trust issues we have, fear of vulnerability. That's what we're called to do, in seeking him, to seek his will, to, to hold fast to him, so that we share in his destiny. So like Jesus did the will of the Father, that's our marching orders in following him, is to seek that will every day in our life, to keep our eyes on the Lord. And the fullness of the kingdom is ahead of us, the fullness of glory. He is coming again at the end of time in glory to transform this world and offer it to his heavenly Father. That's what lies ahead. We can forget that and get lost in the stuff of this life. But by dying to ourselves, that, that new life can happen for us. With joy in Christ's victory, let us ask the Father for all our needs. For the church, that she may be united in harmony, peace, mutual forgiveness, and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear <clears throat> that the gifts of the spirit of wisdom and counsel be given to our Holy Father, who has been entrusted with the keys of the kingdom as the successor of St. Peter. We pray to the Lord. Lord that we may unite all our choices with the will of God and so find our true freedom and fulfillment. We pray to the Lord. Lord that those who have died may experience the fullness of God's forgiveness and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord God. Loving Father, the resurrection of your Son gives us a new birth to a living hope. Help us to live in that hope always. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Oh, so. 
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs, as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dominus Pohobiscu. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment and the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Venis Unceli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all the view and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Mysterium Fidei. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death he will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Charles Lawanga and companions, and with all the saints on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom we have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, all that is good. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, est ibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti, et unitate Spiritu Sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Recepti salitaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, audemus dicere. Pater nostre, vides in genis, sanctifice Quesimus Domini ab omnibus malis, da propitius pacem in diebus nostris, ut ope misericordiae tu ad uti, et epicato simus semper liberti, et ab omni perturbatione se cordri, expectantes beatam spem, et eventum salvatoris nostri, Jesu Christi. Domine Jesu Christe, quid existi apostolis tuis, pacem linquo vobis, pacem eam da vobis, 
Ne despicias peccata nostra set fidem ecclesiae tuae, eam quae secum voluntatem tuam, pacificari aquadonare dignaris, qui vivi sed regnas in secula seculo hordum. Pax Domini sed semper vobiscum. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his holy ones. Hallelujah. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the blessed sacrament, we offer the following prayer. Most loving Jesus, I adore thee with a lively faith, who art present in this sacrament by virtue of thine infinite power, wisdom, and goodness. All my hope is in thee. I love thee, O Lord, with all my heart, who has so loved me, and therefore I desire to receive thee now spiritually. Come therefore, O Lord, to me in spirit, and heal my sinful soul. Feed me, for I am hungry. Strengthen me, for I am weak. Enliven and sanctify me with thy sacred body and blood. Deliver me from all sin, and make me always obedient to thy commandments. And let me never be separated from thee, my Saviour, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit livest and reignest, one God, world without end. Amen.
let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trials steadfast in faith and in charity, through Christ our Lord. Dominus Fobiscum. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. for vocations, God our Father, who wills that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of your truth. We beg you to send laborers into your harvest and grant them grace to speak your word with all holiness, 
so that your word may spread and be glorified, and all nations may know you, the only God, and him whom you have sent, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of the Americas, Mary, Mother of the Franciscan Missionaries of the Eternal Word, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we sigh, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Welcome to Catholic Blitz, and on the hot seat today is Father Ken Brigenti. Are you ready? I'm raring. All right, here's your question okay. then. Why do Catholics worship Mary in one minute? Okay, we don't worship Mary. Okay, we, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, we give uh, the first commandment then uh, also tells us that we do not worship idols, so we, we only worship God, and we call that latria. So we give God worship and adoration. What we do to the saints, and Mary, of course, is a saint, is we give honors, and we call that dulia. And of course, Mary had her primary role in, in her cooperation with salvation. We give her hyper dulia, or first honors. And the rest of the saints, St. Joseph and all the others, we give dulia, or honor. Now, think of it like going to Washington, D.C., and you see the statue of Lincoln in the Lincoln Memorial, uh, George Washington, uh, Thomas Jefferson. These statues are all a part of our history of our country. Well, the statues of saints or pictures or paintings or icons that you see in church are similar to that. We don't worship them just like we don't worship George Washington or Thomas Jefferson. We just give them honor in our country. We give honor to the saints in our Catholic faith. Good. Okay. Come back again for Catholic Blitz. Jesus loves you. This I know. But did you know he also respects you? Think about what that means. God respects your freedom. As mighty as he is, the one force in the universe he's chosen not to be able to overcome is your will. He died to offer you salvation, but he never forced it on you. If you were there when he walked to the earth 2,000 years ago and it came to your door, he'd ask, is it okay if I come in right now? And even though he could do all the work of spreading the kingdom and helping the poor all by himself, he chose in his plan of salvation to need you. If you don't say yes, if you don't fulfill the work he gave you to do, it might never get done. So God humbly asks, will you follow me? Will you help me? He respects your body. In the Eucharist, your flesh becomes a tabernacle, a dwelling place of God. His touch healed people. It was gentle. It wasn't forced. It was never uncomfortable. It was like a good dad raising his daughter up. And if he touched you, he'd probably first ask, can I take you by the arm? He respects his relationship with you. Jesus said, I call you friends. He doesn't just call us sinners in need of salvation or damsels in distress in need of a hero. <laughs> He's gone further than that. God, the maker of all things, has raised you up to the status of friend. He wants your friendship and he asks, will you be my friend? You are sacred, unrepeatable. The creator of the universe respects you. I think maybe you should start treating yourself with some respect too. O oh God, who would have all his people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth, 
send forth, we beseech you, laborers into your harvest, and grant them with all confidence to preach the word, that everywhere your gospel may be heard and glorified, and that all nations may know you, the one true God, and him whom you have sent, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. EWT, Live Truth, Live Catholic. EWTN invites you to join us in this rosary as we pray for peace in Ukraine. During this month of the Sacred Heart, let us especially pray for those who have left the practice of the faith, children, grandchildren, family, and friends. After praying the Holy Rosary for them, we will offer a prayer to Jesus, the Good Shepherd, asking him to carry these lost sheep back into the fold close to his most sacred heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, for all of God, Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those the Sorrowful Mysteries, the first mystery, the agony of Jesus in the garden. Jesus fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must be in our Second sorrowful mystery, the scourging of Jesus at the pillar. Pilate addressed them, I found him guilty of no capital crime. Therefore I shall have him flogged and then release him. With loud shouts, however, they persisted in calling for his crucifixion, and their voices prevailed. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, for all without the Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need. sorrowful mystery, the crowning of Jesus with thorns. Weaving a crown out of thorns, the soldiers placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, mystery, Jesus carries the cross. Pilate handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who know the sea of our fears. The 
fifth sorrowful mystery, Jesus is crucified and dies on the cross. About three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lema Sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, for all of thy Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need in our mercy. of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us in our wounds. Prayer to Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Lord Jesus, Good Shepherd, we have heard your voice. You know each of us by name, and we follow you. In your parables, you speak of your going in search of the lost sheep, and of your rejoicing in the joy in heaven at their return. You speak, too, of the merciful Father, who sees the distant prodigal son, and runs to embrace the one who has repented in return. With you, Jesus, we bring over our children, grandchildren, family, and friends who have left the practice of the faith, especially those who are lost in a moral and destructive way of life, and we bring them now to your most merciful and sacred heart. Lord Jesus, Good Shepherd, we pray that you would reveal your love to them and draw them to your heart, carry them on your shoulders, and bring them safely home to their mother and church and to the banquet of the Eucharist that you have prepared for them. Grant, Good Shepherd, that one day we may be united with them and with you eternally. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh. 